So, piggy banks, right? They're just one of those things that make complete sense until you start thinking about them. We all know what they are and what they are used for, and I bet that we've all owned one at some point in our lives. If you say you haven't, you're lying. I got my first piggy bank as a kid and it showed me how messed up saving money actually was. I swear running around the house hoarding 10 cent coins so I could stuff them into my porcelain pig had me feeling like Scrooge McDuck. I used to do that every single day until I could no longer lift the pig because of how heavy it was. At which point I pretty much assumed I had become a millionaire. At least until my mom counted the money for me and reality ruined my childhood. In fact, I still have my OG piggy bank here. <sighs> Look at this shit. It even has like pink hearts and stuff because you know, I'm a bad <laughs> But anyway, back to the video. The other day I was looking at the damn thing and I realized something that I had never paid much attention to. Why the hell is it a pig? Who invented it and who thought it was a good idea to stuff coins into a money box shaped like an animal? Okay, you can stop typing now because I know what you're going to say. And yes, I thought about that too. But it still makes no sense. Call me a pig hater, man, but who the hell thinks pigs are cute? These things live in mud and eat human flesh, bro. You have to be a psychopath to think that they're cute. Like, look at them. Even Peppa f***ing pig gives me nightmares, too. Listen, if we'd made money boxes into rabbits or cute little dogs, I would get your point. But no, people chose to make them into pigs. But as usual, there's an unnecessarily complicated reason behind this. A quick Google search will tell you that the term piggy bank comes from the name given to the type of clay that people used to use to make these money boxes back in the day. Apparently, there was this pig clay that was originally pronounced pug by the Anglo-Saxons, but as the medieval peeps forgot their own language, it soon became pig, like the devil spawn, I mean animal, that we all know. The story goes that a quirky English potter, who should have probably been doing stand-up comedy instead of pottery, thought it would be quite funny to make a money box from pig clay into a pig shape. So anyway, he did that and <laughs> the joke caught on. Probably because comedy standards in 1500s England weren't very high. Or in England in general, maybe. But friends, this is one clear example of why you shouldn't believe everything that cool, real, interesting facts.blogspot.com says, and you should instead listen to a weird teenager online who doesn't quote any of his sources. Because it turns out that this whole story is bullshit. I'm not old enough to remember this since I am about 12, but apparently this story comes from a bunch of spoof emails about life in the 1500s that apparently went around in the 1990s when people still used email. So anyway, this whole thing was made up by whoever was behind those emails, and it's completely fake. As far as we can tell, there was no such thing as pig clay. Which is kind of sad, because the pun was so clever and so funny. In order to understand the real story behind the piggy bank, we must first look at a history of money boxes. You see, people have been stuffing coins into pots and boxes as far back as the 2nd century BC. The oldest money box we've ever found dates to around that period, and we found it in an ancient Greek colony known as Prien. Prien? Prien? I don't know. It was shaped into a Greek temple with a slit in its pediment, which is that triangle thingy at the top of the temple. I definitely knew that. 
Archaeologists have found many different money boxes with various different shapes in Pompeii and Herculaneum, and they were pretty commonplace in Tudor England too. The Bible itself mentions a money box in the second book of Kings, and I quote, Jehoiada, the priest, took a chest and bored a hole in its lid. He placed it beside the altar. The priests who guarded the entrance put into the chest all the money that was brought to the temple of the Lord. But the oldest piggy bank that was actually shaped into a pig comes from the other side of the world, from the island of Java in Indonesia. This terracotta piggy bank dates back to around the 14th or the 15th century AD and would have been made by the Mahajapit, Majahapit, Mapajahit, Mahapajit, Mapajahit, Majapahit. The thing is, it's not a pig, it's a boar, which is like a pig, but scarier. The difference is not important though, but the original Indonesian word for the boar is. You see, the Majapahit would have called this a selingan, which literally meant likeness of a wild boar, but it also meant savings. This and the close ancient connection between wealth and owning livestock are what probably gave birth to this oddly shaped money box. Except it's probably not how it became popular. It's not like a weird money box from Java would become a worldwide sensation in the 1500s. So we have to trace the origins of our piggy banks to other money boxes. The Romans developed many money boxes shaped into vases, which served as regular old piggy banks back in the day. The same terracotta vase-shaped money boxes were also found in China and in Nepal around the same time, 100 BC. And on top of this, another very similar item appeared in 19th century China. The manekineko, the Chinese good luck charm, often had a piggy bank type slit in it, which you could insert coins into. This idea could have easily traveled to Europe along the Silk Road, and maybe something happened that eventually resulted in us changing from a cat to a pig. But the real explanation behind how it traveled to Europe will probably remain a mystery. So anyway, there you have it. As always, I hope you've learned something. I know this question was probably keeping you up at night, so I hope you can sleep well now. But if you did make it this far into the video, mad respect. Thank you for watching another episode of Pointless History. If you like what you see, please consider dropping a like, leaving a comment and sharing the video to all your friends. Please do so without context, but for real, it really does help the channel out. And also, don't forget to subscribe for more life-changing facts brought to you by yours truly every Friday. And uh, yeah, I'll shut up now. <laughs> See you soon. Peace.